In Creo 9.0, CreoFlow Analysis contains many improved usability enhancements that customers will be excited to use. Let's go through a CFD simulation. First, we now have multiple project support. This means you can have as many projects as you wish within a part or an assembly that you're using. You can duplicate a project and also you can run all your projects in a batch mode when completing all the setup. Let's select the fluid body for our simulation and select the physics we want to use. Inside the Generate Mesh dialog, you will notice some enhancements. First, you will notice some new tessellation options. CreoFlow Analysis now uses the core Creo tessellation, which results in more control, a quicker result, and more robust meshing. Another enhancement here is the Include Quilts option, which lets you use a quilt model in CFD. We have added interactive dragging control for external flow boundaries and refinement zones. This provides much easier to use control for these boundaries. Selecting Generate Mesh now provides us some new enhancements to look through. First is the view panel. As I select a boundary condition at the inlet, you can see this new panel. I can input my flow conditions here or in the model tree. CreoFlow Analysis now supports multiple units for both pre and post processing. You can also so show the mesh with the view panel, change colors, transparency, define results, and much more. All changes made in the view panel are duplicated in the model tree. Now let's run this simulation. You will quickly notice that the legend is now improved. Pressure is the contour that we're looking at currently. You can change the units and change the variable from the legend. You also now have draggers for the upper and lower limits, and you have many color controls in the expanded menu to give you the results that you're looking for. Two more important enhancements are around monitor points and real-time probe within the post-processing pull-down menu. Here I can define monitor points now graphically with a dragger. If I wish to see a different variable, I can select this from the view panel and I will now get a second legend. The second related enhancement here is the real-time probe. Here I can show a result and hover over my model to see the result at that location. I get the real-time data at my mouse pointer. These enhancements all make CreoFlow analysis easier to use and provide additional capabilities to give your CFT solution more accurate results. This demonstration shows just a few of the many enhancements in Creo 9 for CreoFlow analysis around usability and ease of use.